Good evening, everyone. We are here tonight as a symbolic homecoming, as both First Baptist Church, known in the 19th century as the Delavan Baptist Church, and the Jefferson School that once shared rooms in the Confederate barracks known as the Mud Wall. There are many who were members of First Baptist Church who have passed on, and some members who are here today that played a pivotal role in Jefferson School history. There are strong ties of Jefferson with all of the early Baptist churches in Charlottesville. Graduations were held at the various churches on a rotating basis, and church events were held at Jefferson School. I am just so excited to be here tonight as chair of the African American Heritage Center Advisory Committee. In this role, I have seen this project evolve from a dream into a reality. We have a committee who has been dedicated and committed, and they have worked tirelessly to advise Andrea and our, Andrea, and who is our executive, executive director, and me. And I would like to recognize these outstanding group of individuals. Evelyn Barber, Scott French, John Gaines, Paul Garrett, Charlene Green, Elva Mason Holland, Teresa Price, Lana Young, and Andrea, who is a, Andrea Douglas, who is an ex officio member. Please stand. Thank you all for your hard work. At the heart of this project is the Jefferson School African American Heritage Center. This permanent facility will feature permanent and temporary exhibition, celebrating the accomplishments, past and present, of African Americans, particularly the stories of the Jefferson alumni. We will have a state-of-the-art genealogy center where visitors of all ages will be able to explore their own histories. The Arts and Language Academy, with instruction in the performing arts, dance, music, theater, and the visual arts as well, and various languages of the African diaspora. We will have a beautifully restored auditorium where guests can enjoy performances, films, lectures, and other programming. We will also have an alumni center designed for gatherings of alumni, formal and informal. None of this would have been possible without the generosity and encouragement of the alumni whose never say die spirits were the heart of our project. They have given of their time, their efforts, and even their donations, contributing over $7,000 in December 2011 alone. They are our legacy supporters. May I ask those here tonight who are members of the Jefferson Alumni to please stand for keeping the faith. In the exhibition that will open January the 4th, 2013, there are many important artifacts, letters, photographs, recorded histories, pamphlets, and more. Many of these have been graciously loaned or donated to the Jefferson School alumni. 
as we approach the opening of this exhibition less than a year from now, I ask that anyone who gives or has already given an object for the exhibition, please make sure that you have a completed loan form. Andrea and I both have these available tonight. So if you have not completed your loan form, please do so and pick up one tonight at the reception. I look forward to seeing all of you in a few months to celebrate the opening of the Jefferson School African American Heritage Center. Thank you. Next, you will hear from Councilwoman 